Great, it's me, Mrs. Dario, back to go over three digit subtraction with you. So yesterday I had you practice just some mix addition and subtraction. Today we are going to practice some three digit subtraction with regrouping. Last week we were practicing two digit. So I'm going to show you a quick overview today and then you will have practice today and tomorrow. And then I will come back on for a video to have you practice three digit subtraction across the zeros. So I just wanted to show you quickly our poster here with our rules because these are very important for us to remember when we are subtracting with regrouping. So remember we have more on top, no need to stop. We can just subtract. If we have more on the floor, then we need to go next door to get 10 more. Or if our numbers are the same, zeros the game. So with that being said, I have a couple problems here. We're going to go through and practice together. Then I have a link for you to practice some on your own. So I have three digit means I have my ones place, my tens place, and my hundreds place. So just like we did with our two digit subtraction, we need to divide our numbers up by their place value, ones, tens, and hundreds. So again, you should have paper and something to write with to do these problems with me. If you need to pause the video, please do. Also, when you're doing your practice um, with the links that I send, you need to have paper and something to write with because you can't do it unless we are showing our work. Let me do one more, one thing here I need to fix here. All right. Let's try that again. My lines were a little shaky there. All right, not much better. So with three digit, same as three digit addition, same as two digit addition, same with two digit subtraction, we are going to start in the ones place. So I'm going to ask myself, just like every time before with two digit subtraction, is there more on top? or more on the floor. And here in the ones place, I see there's more on top, so I don't need to stop. So I can subtract eight. If I have figures or a number line, I can use that or draw circles. So eight take away three. So I have five left. All right, now I go to my tens place. And again, I need to ask myself the same questions. Okay, just because I did it in the ones place doesn't mean I'm done saying more on top or more on the floor. I need to do the same thing, more on top or more on the floor, and you'll notice there's more on the floor, so I need to go next door and get 10 more. So if I take and one from four, I will have three left. If I take that one that I took here and put it with my two, because I'm already done with the ones place. The ones place is completely done. I'm now in the tens place. I can do 12, take away five. So if I use my number line here, I can start at 12 and jump back five. Start one, two, three, four, five. So I have seven in the tens place. And then I go to the hundreds place and I'll, I have more on top. So three minus one, is two. So my answer is 275. All right, let's go over here to the middle problem. Let's separate our hundreds, tens, and our ones. All right, go ahead and pause the video. Take a minute to solve this. Come back on and see if you are right. So again, I'm going to ask myself more on top, more on the floor. And I see here in the ones place, I have more on the floor. So I'm going to go next door. I'm not gonna skip and go to the hundreds, I'm gonna go right next door. So there's a four here, so I'm gonna take one from four and I have three left. I'm gonna take the one that I took here and I'm gonna bring it over to my two to make it 12. So now I have 12 minus eight. So I can start at 12 and jump back eight, start, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So four in my ones place. Then I go to my tens place and I have a three, because remember the four we don't have anymore. We now have three tens minus three tens. Go back to our rules, numbers the same, 
zeros the game. So zero and then four, take away two, I have two left. So my answer is 204. Okay, and really quickly, let's move and try this last one before you go off and practice on your own. And again, this is review. Again, drawing my lines to separate my hundreds, my tens, and my ones place. I start in my ones place. I say more on top, more on the floor. I see more on top. So I can take nine, take away seven, five, six, seven. I have two left. So no regrouping yet. Go to my tens place. More on top, more on the floor. I see more on the floor, so I'm going to go next door. Take one from my three. I have two left. Take that one that I took from there and add it to my four. So now I have 14. 14, take away eight. So I'm going to use my number line. Start at 14. Start. Jump back eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have six. And then two, take away one, is one. So my answer is 162. So that was just a quick refresher on three digit subtraction with regrouping. So please go to the link and practice. And again, write your problems down on paper. I will see you again in two days to practice three-digit subtraction with across zeros. All right, take care, everybody. Bye.